The sun is shining in Norman, Oklahoma, as we are here at Love's Field, getting ready for some Friday Night Lights, as OU is set to take on BYU in game two of this Big 12 set. I'm DJ Sanchez alongside Destiny McElroy for this BYU offense, hitting 418 on the season, and that is launched to the left center field gap. Ogbayani's on her horse, and she's gonna slide in safely at second for a leadoff double to start the game for BYU. Those are the plays you can't really afford against an offense like BYU. And wild pitch gets away. Agbayani is going to move up to third. And just like that, the Cougars are threatening here in the top of the first. Can do offensively. The one two is lifted to left field. Agbayani tags. Here comes the throw. And BYU takes an early lead, one zip. Two. Yeah, they have come out. They have attacked. They are taking advantage of the good pitches. They are being smart on the base pass. That throw just off the plate a little bit, but Ogbayani had a and ground ball. Opportunity to roll two, but not going to happen as we see a little miscommunication up the middle. Grounded to the left side, Jennings will fire it across and that'll do it, but not before BYU strikes first. We head to the bottom of the first, Cougars up one zip. This is a here, three balls and no strikes to start the bottom half of the first. And it is a four pitch walk to Jada Coleman. The one two's grounded to the left side. And they're going to get Coleman at first, or excuse me, at second for the first out of the inning. Tonight was pretty tough on some of these hitters. That pitch gets away. Jennings going to move up into scoring position and represent the tying run here in the bottom of the first. The jam here as she fires the 3-2 and misses in the dirt. Two walks in the inning. Delivered from Mara. Mara's and let's go ahead and take a look at hits that we're able to put some runs on the board but I'd love to see them capitalize on the freebies. Kamoku trying to turn a pair and Parker is gonna beat it out. Kamoku making a good play up the middle to take care of Brito. Here comes the 2-1. Parker is gonna take off. She is in a rundown in between first and third and that will do it. BYU spoils the first and third play, and they get out of it. Just. And that's hit well to the right side. Pickering's on her horse, and she's going to make the diving catch. And another opportunity here. Pickering back at the wall, but it's going to carry out of here. And there is that BYU power that we have been talking so much about. As with one swing of the bat, Kamoku makes it two zip Cougars. And we've known this BYU offense attacking. Again, they have nothing to lose. She sees that ball down and out, and she's able to just send it opposite field. I mean, they've got nothing to lose. You might as well come in there and But there is some consistency there, so that's good. 3-2 misses low, and Morrow draw a one-out walk. Humorous regionals, conference titles, and their first year in the Big 12 as this has popped up on the infield. Jennings is underneath it to glove it, and that's a big out. When you're given an opportunity and you have runners on, BYU is pretty, they struggle a little bit moving runners. This is lace to left field, but Riley Boone is going to take care of it. Just in the second inning here in this ball game, but wanting to see that strike zone get established is Kinsey Hansen. Lines it right back up the middle, and it's a leadoff single. The 0-2 is going to get away from Morrow. Hansen's going to take off, and the throw is not in time. A little bit of a young BYU pitching staff. 
And a mix of speeds is going to sit down Pickering on strikes to bring up Avery Hodge. But lefty Avery Hodge lines it right back at Mares. And it's going to get thrown out at first base off the ricochet. And Lily Owens. Ground ball to Agbayani. And that will do it. BYU works around another runner in scoring position. We had to payoff pitch to Bejarano. Misses outside, and it's a leadoff walk to start the third. And what an at bat by Maddie Bejarano working back. Zavodnik laces this into left center field. It's going to get down. Bejarano is going to stand up at third as Zavodnik. Not being fouled off. And talk about a location. Nicole May spots up to sit down. Hunter Ava on strikes. 37 runners on base in their previous five games as this is skied high to center field. Bejarano is tagging. She will take off. Here comes the throw, and Bejarano is safe at home plate. And the sacrifice fly from Lily Owens. Well, Jada Coleman played it really well, stayed behind the ball, kept her momentum coming into the play. Just too long of a throw to throw a, a runner like Bejarano out. It's tough play. To right field back in the second. I say flew out. Cassie Pickering robbed a hit <laughs> <laughs> from Maddie Udall back in the second. And Avery Hodge will take care of it, and that'll do it. It's been all Cougars so far as this is laced into center field, and it's going to get down in front of Zavodnik, and Riley Boone is aboard with a leadoff single to bring up Jada Coleman. <laughs> Mara is going through this Sooner lineup for the second time, and this is popped up to left field, and Bejarano is going to get under it, and huge out by the freshman Mares. Jada Coleman, keep him alive. Tiari Jennings, keep it going. Alyssa Brito. Jennings laces this into center field, but Zavodnik Flash in the leather, and just like that. What do you think? I like where your head's at. <laughs> I think down 3-0, maybe not. Move anyway, as it's a four-pitch walk to Alyssa Brito. To Brims, and has kept this offense at bay, and it is another walk in the inning to load the bases for Kinsey Hansen. Only two hits for OU on the night. Hanson has one of them, and this is a dribbler in front of Owens. Boone is going to score. No one is able to make a play anywhere. And it's an infield RBI hit for Kinsey Hansen. Kind of an interesting play here. Kinsey just had a little miss hit, but caught Owens way off guard. Trying to cover the bag and then. Payoff pitch from Mares floats in for ball four. And Pickering draws the walk to make it 3-2. Not in much of a different location as this is skied high to left field. Bejarano is going to get underneath it. And BYU works out of it, but not before the Sooners get a couple back. It's in May. Struggling to find the zone as Komoku skies it high to right field and one pitch, one out for Kirsten Deal as she has entered this game. So has really been able to show herself and this in is a full game. Hit well to left field and off the wall. Here comes Morrow and it's a double. Working behind in the count has been killer. Yeah, we've seen that all game long. And another free pass issued as Agbayani is hit by the pitch. Payoff pitch from Deal. Line shot, and that's going to get down. One, one, one run will score. Agbayani.
slides into second for her second double of the day. And BYU just keeps striking. Hitting, we saw her go opposite field with her first double of the game, now sending it to right center with that inside pitch, just seeing the ball so well, but working the count to get that pitch. So one, two to Bejarano. Little squib, play at the plate is gonna throw out Agbayani by a couple feet. Looking to leave a couple stranded. And the runner takes off, trying to steal and catch Deal sleeping. And Deal makes the play at third to throw out. And ground ball through the five, six hole. And going to be a lead off single from the third. And ground ball, Ava's gonna take it herself. And Bland to move up into scoring position. This ball laced to left field. is gonna make the catch right in front of the warning track. And struck well, but she's been trying to find the zone with that pitch. to throw a pitch like that to Tiara Jennings. Oh, and then all of a sudden, we'll see four, five, six balls in a row. I think a lot more is going into her performance. I think now the tied ball game, is see what she could do to Ella Parker here. Unable to throw full games. And ground ball back to Agbayani. Feels it like a shortstop. And takes care of Hansen. But not before the Sooners tie it up at four. Deal rocks and fires. Misses in the dirt. And it's a leadoff walk to start the fifth. Last two innings of this game. So we've got to be careful with what we're trying to do here. Another walk delivered and Ava is aboard. This has popped up on the infield right at Keeney. And that's a big out. And a hitter's count composed. Mm -hmm. And ground ball to the right side. Avery Hodge is going to go for the lead runner and try to turn two. Not quite in time. I agree. We saw some of the coaches in the dugouts kind of signing as Udall takes off. First and third. Here comes the throw. And Flanders is safe at the plate. And the scoring streak continues for BYU. What a jump by Flanders on the throw, and BYU takes the lead five to four. And that's a perfectly executed first and third play. You draw the attention from your catcher. I think if Kinsey would have looked over at third, she would have seen the break. That walk is the third delivered in this inning. And ground ball up the middle. Here comes Udall. The throw from Coleman. And Udall is safe at the plate. BYU 
strikes again, makes it 6-4. And Coleman fires in, close play at the plate. Really close play, perfectly executed by Jada Coleman. What a great throw coming in and just not in time. Again, this BYU offense is doing such a great job piecing these runs together, being aggressive on the base paths. You've got to execute the little things on offense if you're going to give up the freebies on defense. And this should do it. As Ogbayani is thrown out, but BYU. Ogbayani goes back to short, who was in the circle last inning, and another walk delivered by Mares, and we've we've said it over and over and over. The evening, the three two loops in and just misses inside. Back to back walks for Mares as she has re-entered this game. And Core is going to take off and get thrown out at third base as she tries to take third on the ball in the dirt. Opportunity to be a pinch runner. You and line drive, and it's a double play as Agbayani fires across, and BYU gets out of it. Back to back walks. Agbayani. And line drive to left field, and Agbayani is aboard. She is having herself a day. Bayani, again, doing a little bit of it all. Just got BYU out of a jam as Bejarano lays down the bunt and executed perfectly to move Ogbayani up into scoring position. A one-two is going to get down in front of Boone. Ogbayani is going to be placed back at second base, and Flanders is out. Just like that, tables have turned, and Ava gets jammed, and the Sooners hang the first goose egg of the game. And walks a little bit of an issue for Dolly in game one. This ground ball is going to get through as Riley Boone has her second base hit of the night. It popped up on the infield, and Agbayani will take care of it, and Jada Coleman is. Dolly rocks and fires, and this gets away. Boone is going to move up to second base on the wild pitch. And, and it's a four-pitch walk to Jennings. <laughs> Ninth Boone. tonight. Almost took off on that. They've only allowed four runs on the board. It popped up in foul territory. Ava is underneath it to make the catch. Hit well to left field, but Flanders is underneath it. And BYU works around another lead off hit. We go to the seventh inning. BYU on top, six to four. This is OU softball from OU Health. It's gonna route the Bears in a run rule as well. We're still going here in Norman. In the five, six hole, not in time. And Lily Owens is aboard. You here tonight out hitting the Sooners nine to six. As Udall shows bunt, Hansen is going to get the lead runner at second base. And that's a big time play. Payoff pitch from Keeney. Lace down the left field line, fair. And Kamoku. Has herself a two-hit night. Unbelievable. The fact that there's only 10 runs on the board combined. And line drive is going to be spoiled as the throw gets away. And here comes the runner. And she will score on the air by Keeney. Cougars 
make it 7-4. Carly Keeney, an opportunity to get out of the inning. Sooners. There is just a ton happening. I mean, it was a good throw to Sanders. She just seems to be trying to get out. Oh, she overran the throw. In that situation, you'd want to see Keeney kind of lead Sanders back to the bag. Stays alive and big at bat here for Keeney. This is hit well to right center field. Off the wall, a run will score. And Agbayani has herself an RBI double to make it eight to four, BYU. It Just coming out and being aggressive. That ball was just left right over the plate. Front look, spins the ball really well. As this is sky high to right field and that'll do it, but not before BYU puts up three to extend their lead nine to four. Knowing they've had the leadoff hitter on every inning and literally every inning as Kinsey Hansen is aboard with a lead off single. Seven for seven are the Sooners and getting the leadoff on. 2-2 two -two is struck well to center field, but not going to be enough as Zavadnik loves it for the first out of the inning. And BYU, something can spark. A line drive into center field is going to get down. Ludlam will move up to second, but Torres keeping hopes alive. 3-2. Popped up. To center field, Zavodnik gloves it, and BYU is one out away. April 23rd, 2017. So that ball gets away, and everybody moves up. Dally rocks and fires. Sky high to right field, and up Guyani is going to glove it. And BYU takes down the Sooners. Nine to four. This is their second top five win this season.